FSR4 is now available to install easily and for free on the Steam Deck, SteamOS and Linux via the brand new and updated Decky Frame Gen plugin and in this video I'll be guiding a step by step on how to install, configure and take advantage of everything it has to offer. And I'll also be showing how to use FSR4 in combination with lossless scaling frame generation so we can benefit from higher image quality over previous upscaling versions and boost frame rates in our games. The new Dicky Frame Gen plugin allows us to change our upscaler in DirectX 12 and 11 games from FSR2 to FSR4, 3 or XESS2 for improved image quality by unlocking the option of DLSS in our games graphics menus and passing these through there with a tool called OptiScaler. And in DirectX 12 games exclusively, we are able to inject FSR3 frame generation into games that don't include it as an option to increase our FPS there if we wish. And with the lossless scaling Decky plugin installed, this gives us the option to activate frame generation from our quick access menu with a 2, 3 or 4 times FPS multiplier to boost our frame rates in combination with FSR4 and other upscalers. All of what you're about to learn today is the result of months and years of work that has gone into testing and development following feedback and reiteration of versions released over time. And this doesn't just work on the Steam Deck, it will work on any higher end system or device that has SteamOS, Bazite or CacheOS installed. So we can take advantage of these technologies with even greater performance. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From gaming mode, we want to press the Steam button, go down to settings, system, and we want to choose check for updates and make sure that SteamOS is up to date. Afterwards, let's press the Steam button again, choose power, and then choose switch to desktop mode. From our desktop, we want to open our web browser and navigate to the official Decky website, choosing download in the top right hand corner and downloading the installer to our desktop or downloads folder. Afterwards, if you wish to install lossless scaling, we want to navigate to the GitHub page Go to releases on the right hand side. We want to choose download on decky lsfgvk.zip on the most recent version and download this to your desktop or downloads folder. Before we install decky, we need to make sure that we have a password set for our user account. So choose system settings from the taskbar, go down to users and choose change password. For simplicity, I'm going to choose Deck, and I'm going to type this twice by pressing X on our Steam Deck to bring up the Steam keyboard. After you've typed your password, choose Set Password, and on the prompt that appears, just choose Leave Unchanged. Once that's done, we can close this window, go back to the desktop, and choose Install Decky. On the prompt that appears, we want to type our password by pressing X on the Steam keyboard, and here we want to choose release if we're on the stable version of SteamOS and press OK. Now Decky will be installed and once the installation is finished we just want to return to gaming mode. Back in gaming mode if we press the quick access menu button we'll see a new plug icon on the right hand side. Let's access this and in the top right hand corner we'll see the marketplace icon. Here we want to scroll down until we see Decky Frame Gen. And on Decky Frame Gen, we want to choose Install and wait for the process to complete. Once completed, we're going to see Decky Frame Gen appear on the right hand side. We want to choose Setup OptiScaler Mod. And here we want to choose Copy Patch Command. Now, as an example, I'm going to use Stellar Blade, but the first thing we need to do is go to the controller symbol. Enable back grip buttons and on L4 we want to select this and we want to assign the insert key. So we'll press R1 to go to numpad, choose insert and we'll have the insert key assigned to L4 on our back grip buttons. After this go to the cog symbol, properties and if we scroll down to launch options we want to open the steam keyboard again press paste and we'll see our FG mod command from Decky Frame Gen. 
and this is what's going to allow us to change our upscaler in games. So if we go back and press play, just wait for the game to launch and in supported games we always want to go to our graphic settings and under upscaler or resolution scaling mode we want to choose DLSS and this is going to allow us to inject FSR4, FSR3 or XESS2 via this pass through. And in game with Stellar Blade I'm going to press L4 on the back of the Steam Deck to bring up OptiScaler. Now to navigate with OptiScaler we can either use the D-pad and A or we can hold down the Steam button and use the right trackpad. But I'm going to use the trackpad and I'm going to use R2 to select this drop down and I'm going to change to this FSR 3, 4 and I'm going to select change upscaler and on the drop down underneath we'll see FFX settings but our upscaler is set to FSR 4.0.2 and if I open the drop down we have the choice of FSR 4, FSR 3.1.5 or FSR 2 and whenever you want to change these just select one and then choose change upscaler but for now if I press L4 again to close OptiScaler we can see that I'm now using FSR 4 in Stellar Blade and if I just pause the game to get a closer look at Eve's model you can see that her hair is much better than it was before and if I press L4 and change from FSR 4 to FSR 3 choose change upscaler close OptiScaler and we can see that her hair has a lot of shimmering compared to FSR 4 and again if I press L4 to bring up OptiScaler and change from FSR to XESS choose change upscaler I'm now using XESS 2 so we can close OptiScaler and Eve's hair looks a lot better but there is some shimmering on her belt buckles so I'm going to change to FSR again and then we'll change it to FSR 4 and you can notice the difference straight away and in game with FSR 4 we do take a performance penalty while we're playing although the image looks a lot better and we could just lock the game to 30 FPS and enjoy a much better image playing this way. Moving over to Baldur's Gate 3 we can see I'm in Act 3 in the main city and I've got Carlax model here. Now if I press L4 to bring up OptiScaler we need to make sure that we're on the DX11 version of the game not Vulcan otherwise the mod won't work and if I choose the drop down here we want to make sure that we're on FSR 3.4 with DX12. Change up Scalar, and I'm on FSR 2 right now, which is the game's default, and we can see a lot of shimmering on Carlac's hair and in the surroundings. Now if I press L4 again to bring up OptiScaler and change to FSR 3, we can see that the shimmering is still there although it's maybe a little improved in some places. So let's switch to FSR 4 in Baldur's Gate 3, change up Scalar, and if we go back to the game we can see that the shimmering is pretty much gone and the model detail is a lot higher and if we walk around we're getting the expected performance we usually get which is around 30 FPS and I will show later how we can improve this with frame generation but the image quality and models are a lot greater. Next we'll take a look at Control Ultimate Edition and in our settings we've got the insert key bound to the L4 button like usual we've got DLSS enabled in the game settings and I've got this on native DLLA so I'm on 800p and right now with FSR 4 I'm getting around 45 FPS and if we press L4 to bring up OptiScaler, we can change from FSR4 to FSR2 just to compare the differences. Choose Change Up Scaler, and we'll see that the shimmering on the edges, shimmering on the floor, shimmering in the distance, and the detail overall is a lot less. 
So let's change back to FSR4, choose Change Upscaler, go back to the game, and the shimmering in the distance and on the edges and on the floor is gone, and the reflections are a lot more distinct. Now one of the main features of Deki Frame Gen is the ability to inject FSR3 frame generation into DX12 games. So what we can do here is select this drop down, change from Newcombs to OptiFG. And when we select this, we'll get a message saying that we need to save the INI and restart. So we can choose Save INI at the bottom press the steam button, exit game and then restart control. And when we're back in game and choose OptiScaler again, OptiFG will be selected for us and we can choose active to enable the frame generation and our FPS has gone from 45 to 60 but our HUD is all over the place. So let's go back into OptiScaler and enable HUD fix and this will resolve the issue of our hood flickering so the frame generation works properly with FSR4. So now a bit of nerdy background about how FSR4 is working on devices that aren't RDNA4 GPUs. AMD briefly published an INT8 integer based version of FSR4 similar to how XESS works on non-Intel GPUs instead of the RDNA4 exclusive FP8 floating point. It was discovered that we can compile this into a DLL file that runs natively on older architectures and since the code is MIT open source licensed it can be freely distributed and used in projects. This differs from previous FP8 emulation hacks on Linux which worked on RDNA 3 but carried huge performance costs. INT8 runs far cheaper though with some rounding errors compared to native FP8 on RDNA 4. With the upcoming Redstone initiative and AMD's internal M2 code tool, it is speculated that AMD will provide legacy GPU compatible INT8 optimized versions of their RDNA 4 Plus DLLs. This version of FSR 4 integrated into Deki Frame Gen is a preview of what the future may bring. So I hope that sheds some light on how this all came to be and what the future may hold. And now let's quickly take a look at installing lossless scaling and combining it with FSR4. So to install lossless scaling we need to press the quick access menu button, go to our cog symbol and inside Deki we want to go down in general to developer mode, toggle this on, go to the left hand side to developer, select browse and we want to go to our desktop or downloads folder to where we downloaded our lsfgbk zip file. Choose install and we'll see it appear on the right hand side and you want to make sure that you have lost the scaling purchased and installed in your Steam library like so. And once that's done we want to go back to the plugin, select install lsfgvk and we'll briefly go over the functionality here and if you want to see a more in-depth guide check out my video listed in the description which is dedicated to the lossless scaling plugin. So we have our launch option for just putting lossless scaling into games or we have our launch option for combining lossless scaling and Deki Frame Gen. We've got our FPS multiplier, our flow scale and all the other toggles which are explained in my dedicated video. But what we're going to do here is choose the second launch option in the lossless scaling plugin LSFG plus Deki FG to get FSR4 and lossless scaling working together. And then for Stellar Blade I'm going to go to the cog symbol again, go down to properties, general and I'm going to paste this launch command in like so. And once in game with FSR4 again I'm going to press L4 to make sure I'm on the upscaler that I want to use. So I've got FSR4 selected and then I'm going to press the quick access menu button, go to Deki LSFG VK and then I'm going to choose the FPS multiplier of two times. And we can see that my FPS is now on 60 and the performance overall with FSR4 and lossless scaling together is pretty good. And if you do try this out, let us know what your experience has been like in the comments. Now with Baldur's Gate 3, 
I'm going to switch from FSR 2 to FSR 4 and we can see that I'm getting around 25 to 30 FPS in the main city which is the most demanding part of the game. So now when we go to loss of scaling, go down and choose two times, our FPS has gone up to 60, but it will dip into the 40s and the 50s, but that's just how this game is on the Steam Deck in general. But because Baldur's Gate 3 is a fairly slow paced game, if we want to maximize our 60 FPS target, we can increase loss of scaling to three times FPS. So we stay at that FPS area more often. So I hope this guide helped you with getting FSR 4, Lost the Scaling or both properly installed. And if you found this helpful and learned something new today, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share with others. If you require support or have any questions related to the topics discussed today, consider joining the Deki LSFG Discord, where we have a community dedicated to discussing the tools showcased and providing support as well as game tests and more. Also, I recommend checking out my previous videos and links in the description for further viewing and reading material to expand your understanding on everything shown in the video. I want to give a massive shout out and thank you to Kurt Heimborg, aka Jason Derulo, for their amazing work, communication, and taking my feedback on board following testing of the Deki Frame Gen and Deki LSFG VK plugins. In addition, I'd like to give a massive shout out and thank you to Pancake Tass, the creator of LSFGVK, which translates Lost the Scaling so that it works on Linux and allows us to use this incredible technology on devices like the Steam Deck. Stay tuned to the channel for more guides and game tests, as I have a lot more on the way that you won't want to miss. Until next time, have a great rest of your day, look out for one another, and I'll see you later.